This is why I think there is no absolute truth, or I can't say that correctly, that there is no, there is no absolute truth that we can understand today because we will never understand everything. Yeah, we'll never understand everything, but we do understand certain stuff. Do we? Of course. We understand that if gravity works. you can't understand works. everything, how can you understand anything? Well, we understand that gravity works in a very predictable way, and we can observe it. Like over and over and over. Anywhere in the world, you can drop an apple from a certain distance and you can calculate precisely how long it take for that thing to hit the ground. Precisely. <laughs> well, no, but, that, but that's true, Chris, right? Because gravity behaves differently depending on where at, you are, at, how far away you are. At different distances from, from, from an object, right? The further yeah, you get from the earth, but, the but less it's gravity close enough, it. right? This is the difference between mathematics and physics. At some point, it's close enough, right? <sighs> And I don't mean we're off by a second. I mean we're off by like a millionth of a second. I, I, intellectually, I agree with you, but there's something in my mind that's thinking that if you can't do it, if you can't explain the variance, then it's not true. Which is why I get to the whole idea that when you tell me this is this, I cannot agree with it. Yeah, yeah but, but, but at some point, Chris, it's, it's close enough, right? It's close, it's enough, close enough to build an airplane. For us to have a conversation to... for the time what? being, and we leave this little tiny bit of doubt out there for to fix when when we learn more. I mean, but it's close enough to make an airplane fly. It's close enough to make a dude jump out of an airplane and and hit the ground safely, right? It's close enough.